This week's parish of the Torah says, Hu Aharon Moshe. This was Aaron and Moshe. Aaron's name is mentioned first. And Rashi says, sometimes Aaron is mentioned first, most of the time Moshe is mentioned first. Why the discrepancy? To show us that Aaron was as great as Moshe. Sometimes he comes before Moshe. Sometimes Moshe comes because they're equal. But Moshe was the greatest of the Nevi'im. No one, no one approached Moshe. Was Aaron really as great as Moshe? What, 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 is, what are Chazal telling us? Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, Zechron Livrocha, said that, well, there's a Rambam. The Rambam says, everybody can be as great as Moshe Rabbeinu. <laughs> I'm going to be as great as Moshe Rabbeinu. My grandsons are going to be as great as, great as Moshe Rabbeinu. I mean, who are we kidding? What does the Rambam mean? What means is this. Everybody is created with X amount of talent, X amount of potential. Live up to your full potential. That's what Moshe Rabbeinu did. That's what Aaron Akoyan did. That's, in that sense, they were equal. In that sense, we can all be equal. In that sense, we can all be like Moshe Rabbeinu. Don't give up. Live up to challenges. Use your potential. Some years ago, I was told about an elderly man, a man who 82 years old, never gone to yeshiva. He decided he was retired. He decided to start learning. At the age of 82, and seven years later, he made a siyam He lived up to his potential. He was a Moshe Rabbeinu.